Hello to everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Right now that we are in the winter break, I'm trying to film some videos that uh, are going to be useful uh, for yourself when you will start your RC rally season. In the last week uh, video that I warmly suggest uh, to take uh, to see, to take a look, uh, I explained how I use my RC some settings of my RC transmitter in order to adjust the sensibility of the steering and this is very important in order to have a smooth uh, driving depending on the conditions of the track. I explain you how to adjust this kind of settings uh, when the track is uh, extremely tight and uh, if you are racing on a, a serial stage that uh, is let's say fast with uh, large uh, stages. Today from the steering we are switching to the throttle. In RC Rally in order to be fast you need to be smooth. Smooth with the steering, smooth with the throttle, we want to avoid to, let's say, be large on a corner, we always try to stay tight, we try to avoid uh, unuseful understeer, uh, unuseful uh, uh, oversteer and so on. I know it's uh, not that easy and uh, last week I talked about uh, the, the steering and in today's video we are going to talk about the throttle, how to adjust it through the RC transmitter and how to adjust it through the program card. Uh, I'm not going to deep dive in uh, each setting but uh, in those that I usually use and are helpful uh, in my RC rally uh, races. Just to give you an example, in uh, one RC rally that I did uh, during uh, this year, uh, we started on a high grip uh, condition uh, uh, track with sun and suddenly started uh, to rain. The viscosity of the differential oil was uh, too high and I was having troubles in the corners. That's why I modify a bit the neutral range. Okay, let's deep dive uh, on this topic, but uh, before of that, just a reminder to please leave a like and subscribe in order to support my channel. And as usual, if you have additional questions or you want uh, me to film something on a specific topic, just uh, leave a comment under this video. So I'm going to talk about uh, three settings that I usually use in order to adjust uh, the throttle of my RC rally car from the RC transmitter, the endpoint adjustment, and for the program card, the neutral range and the punch. Starting from the APA and point uh, adjustment, it uh, allows us to determine the, let's say, maximum uh, throttle that uh, we are giving uh, through our RC transmitter. I keep it at uh, 80% because uh, this year I did the mistake, let's say, of using a 10.5T engine, a bit uh, too powerful for RC rally in my opinion, and I usually keep it at uh, 80%. This value changes uh, a lot, uh, basing it to the conditions uh, of the RC rally stage, this year during a very tight uh, RC rally that, did, uh, that we did uh, inside a hotel, I kept it at uh, 64%. The car was uh, slow, but uh, very easy to control, and in fact I was able to win this uh, that event. And in another RC rally event, it was very large and quite fast, I used to keep it at uh, 90%. But this value, keep in mind, uh, it's influenced a lot by the gear ratio that uh, we are using. Now let's talk about the neutral range, that is the amount of throttle that uh, you need to do in order to make the car uh, to, to move. I uh, usually keep it at 9%, it's let's say a neutral uh, value, but uh, in my ESC I have 6 9 and uh, 12. At uh, 6%, which is a um, low value, the sensibility of the throttle is very high and the car, uh, let's say, it's a bit more uh, nervous. Adding value till uh, 12%, the car feels uh, smoother. Not the car, sorry, but the, uh, the throttle. Now let's talk about maybe the most important uh, value that we can use in order to control the power, the throttle of our RC model. 
which is the punch. The punch is the amount of initial power that it's allowed to go to the motor. We have a quite wide range of uh, setting. Usually in OBWing uh, it's always set on uh, 7, it's a default uh, setting, with, but we can go up till, uh, till 9. In RC Rally I think that uh, the punch has to stay quite uh, low. I keep it on uh, 4 and uh, also it depends a lot if you're racing off-road and uh, on-road. I suggest you to, keep, to do a, an experiment uh, by yourself, just do a few corners on level 1 and do the same corners on uh, level 9. You will see that on level 9 the car is extremely reactive and if there is no grip the tires are going to spin a lot. So having a lower value it allows you to give power on the apex of the corner and the car is going to be let's say easy and smooth allowing you to have a good exit, exit of the, from the corner. And now the most honest question will be Dario which is the best uh, setting? And the answer is uh, it depends. It depends by a lot of uh, factors, it depends by your driving style, it depends by your uh, setting. My suggestion is uh, to don't play too much with this uh, kind of uh, settings. Let's say, first of all, find the best settings that uh, works uh, for you, for your uh, driving style. And then when you are fast with these uh, basic settings, and you have the sensibility to understand your RC model and your RC transmitter, then you can start to work on this kind of uh, uh, adjustments. At the beginning, when I started to play RC Rally, I had no idea about this kind of uh, settings, and I raced for one and a half year uh, on the standard uh, ones. And after I learned about them, because I had the experience on the basic um, uh, settings, the one by default, uh, I was able to feel the adjustment that I was giving uh, through the program card, through the RC transmitter and uh, so on. So keep me updated in the comment sections about which kind of settings uh, you use and um, what you found useful uh, on this, in this video. And uh, I think that's all. Guys, uh, see you next week for a new video and in general I wish you the best of luck uh, for your RC rally season.